Hello there. Welcome to the moment of grace. Today I want you to be still. And I'm reading to you from the book of Psalm 46 and verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the evening. I will be exalted in the earth. God wants to take glory in your story. No matter the story how it is, whether you are dealing with funny story, bad story, painful story, or good story, whichever it is, God says, I want to take the glory therein. And I want you to be still when things are drifting around you especially in a negative way there's always a tendency to want to drift with things i'm talking of going down with the financial challenge breaking down with a broken relationship i'm talking of being sick with the sick situation of life god said no i know things are drifting in the wrong direction you don't need to drift with things take a stand of faith stand still be still stop the drift don't drift down with the things. I know money is going down. Stop going down with money. I know your health is being challenged right now and there's so much pain in your body. Say, so don't drift with it. You take a stand. The real you is not the body. The real you is the you in the inside. He said that man of the inside, which is called the inward man of the heart, should be still. Stand still. He said when that takes a stand of faith, you will know what God is up to. Because listen, Listen to me, God is up to something in your situation and in your circumstance and he's saying when you are still, you will know. So be still and know that I am God. You will see the hand of the divine, divine activity in the issue. You will see what God is up to. You will see what God is doing. Take a stand of faith and know what God is up to in your matter right now. How do I do that? To be still is to empty yourself of what you seem to have known as sign and symptom of the situation. I know you know that the money has reduced. I know you know that there's pain in your body. I know you know that the relationship is not alright. He said, I know you know all of that. But one thing I want you to know also is that I'm God. That means I'm God over everything. I am supreme and superior. I am the divine over all things. I want you to empty yourself of every other things you even know right now and know one thing. I am the supreme being over circumstances and the issue of life. I want you to be still and know I want you to embrace what I want to do. I want you to embrace new knowledge, new understanding of my operation. I don't want you to let it be that it's always been painful. It's always been bad. It's always been broken. He said, no, be still now. Empty yourself of what you used to know. Acquire what I'm saying. Acquire me as a target. To be still is to know that God is working on your case and to embrace it. So God is saying, be still. Know that I am God. Embrace what I want to do. Don't write everything off. Don't throw everything away. Don't just give in and give up on things. Be still. You are too agitated. You are too troubled. You are moving here and there, running elder scatter. You know more of prophet and pastor than you know of me, God. Even when prophet and pastors and doctors and lawyers and financiers and uncle, when all of them don't have what to offer again, I still remain God over your affair. And I will be exalted on the case. I'll be exalted in the earth. I'll be exalted among the says the Lord. Be still. Stop running around. Stop beating yourself about it. Okay, the mistake has been made. Be still now and let God sort everything out for you. I pray for you today that divine hand will rest upon your case. That God is going to sort you out. Sort the finance out. Sort your health out. Sort the career out. Sort your children out. In the name of Jesus Christ, be still. Every troubled water I command, be still. In the name of Jesus, troubled health, be still still. I cast the cancer to its root right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the diabetes to go. I command the hypertension to disappear. Be healed to be made whole. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command career turn around, business turn around. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, it is done in Jesus' precious name.